Hi, it's Tom for another math. Easy solution. Trying to discuss another video on daily water intake and basically now look at the question Does alcohol count towards daily water intake? Uh, basically, this video is a follow up video to my earlier videos on daily water intake and does coffee and tea count towards uh, water intake? So make sure to watch those in the video description below. I have links to the videos there. And also want to state that most of the information in this video is taken from uh, this paper by Hobson and Morgan in 20, 2010. Basically, it's uh, called Clinical Aspects Hydration Status and the Diuretic Action of a Small Dose of Alcohol. And it's in the Journal of Alcohol and Alcoholism. And basically, you can uh, download the exact PDF of the study in this Dropbox link. I have it also in the video description below and you can also download this exact uh, all these notes in the Dropbox link below in the video description as well. Basically I want to go over this part right here. Alcohol is viewed as diuretic meaning it increases urination but I want to kind of go over the, the question here. Uh, does But does this mean that one cup of alcohol requires that I drink well one cup of water to counteract the diuretic effects? This is uh, this is something that you hear a lot, like uh, like especially with caffeine, like I showed in my other videos. Basically, it's saying if you drink a cup of alcohol, basically, it's basically uh, taking water away from you, and you got to drink more. But uh, I just want to see how how true this is, and and this paper really uh, really shows a lot on on this uh, topic. So basically, the 2010 study, uh, the one that I just showed above the paper, uh, basically. The study involved 12 males in four experiments. The first experiment. Well, yeah, there's four experiments. So, on for every single one of these experiments, they were all hydrated in hot and humid conditions at 35 degrees Celsius at 68% uh, percent humidity, and then so until they lost basically 1.9 percent of their body mass in in, in uh, by sweating it out. And basically, the first two experiments, they were fed a, a meal and they were rehydrated to get back their body body mass they lost in water. And then the second uh, group, so experiment three and four, they were fed the same meal, but they were not hydrated, so they did not get back this 1.9% uh, body mass. And then the following morning, they all drank one liter of beer. That's about four cups of beer. And in the first experiment, there was no alcohol. In the second, there was 4% alcohol inside the beer. And the third one was non-alcoholic as well. And then the fourth, there was 4% alcohol. So this is to testing out basically what happens if, uh, you're if you're hydrated and you're not hydrated and you drink alcohol. And then the 12 participants uh, remained in the laboratory for four hours for monitoring. And basically, uh, then, and then in those four hours, every hour they were... Uh, they would have urine samples, etc. And then this one, uh, and also they would measure how much urine they peed out in total. And then, so in the first one, when they're hydrated, but they did not have any alcohol, so it's hydrated, no alcohol. It's about, well, this is 1,121 uh, milliliters of uh, that they peed out, it's total pee. And then the total urine uh, for the when they did have alcohol, there is a diuretic effect here. So this is over 100 milliliters more that they've peed out. So this is uh, 1,279. But then the, the thing that's interesting is when, when you're already uh, dehydrated and then you drink even four cups of, uh, of alcohol, there is a huge drop from when you were hydrated. So the diuretic effect is completely uh, gone when you... Yeah, when you basically are dehydrated, especially with this is one's with alcohol. So this is without alcohol is 174. That's this is these are average values of all the 12, and this one's 261. So you did pee pee out more, but it's not that much more. It's still almost like this is about 90 milliliters more. So it's more than relative to not the one with no alcohol, but not to the one when you're already hydrated. So basically, what this is saying, if you're already dehydrated. You and you drink alcohol. It's not like you're gonna go pee out a whole lot. It, it's it. There is no diuretic effect or very little. So you can see that by this graph right here. So this is the hydrated with no alcohol. As you can see, you pee out a lot, and then hydrated with alcohol, you pee about a hundred plus more milliliters. And then when you're dehydrated but no alcohol, as you see, there's a huge drop from when there was a uh, hydrated here. So this is regular, and then. Even with alcohol, there, this doesn't go really high up, so it, it's it's not like so. If you're dehydrated already, there is barely barely any.
yeah, there's barely any uh, diuretic effect right here. So the, as you can see, this one right here, but it's still a bit higher than, than the, uh, the the dehydrate already with no alcohol. So it's more than this one relative, but then in, in terms of when it's already hydrated, there's not much of a difference. And also the studies showed this is per hour, this graph, how much you peed out in, in each hour for four hours. And as, as well, it shows that the, the most that you the P out is in the first hour right here, and and again this one, you could you could tell this one is with uh, hydrated and alcohol, that's this, and this one is hydrated no alcohol, that's this, and this is dehydrated alcohol, and, and this is dehydrated no alcohol, so that's uh this is square, uh, anyways, so as you can see there's a you pee about a pee more here, but then they go down to barely anything over here, so basically the results show that alcohol has diuretic effects but it is significantly slowed when dehydrated. In other words, if you're if you're dehydrated, drink alcohol will not make you pee well that much more, uh, i.e., uh, or basically the, the diuretic effect is blunted. Also, most of the urine output was during the first hour of drinking on both alcohol trials, as I just showed. And also, Shuroff's and Mohan Mohan 1997, another paper, um, this guy was in it too, showed that about an additional 100 milliliters of urine is produced for each 10, uh, 10 grams of alcohol ingested. This is about, I think it's about, uh, corresponds to 250 milliliters of 4% of alcohol uh, beer. Uh, yeah, so this is about that. But this is still not direct to the point where drinking beer makes you uh, pee more than you drink or the same that you drink. So it, it doesn't mean you have to drink the exact same amount of water that you just drank of alcohol. So they also concluded that uh, yeah, so this study, this 1997 study, they also concluded that, a, that an average, or that a beverage with less than 2% alcohol had the same effect on hydration as non-alcoholic beverage, but a beverage with 4% alcohol did increase relative urine output. So what this is saying is if it's really diluted, there is barely any diuretic effect. And also you can read more on the study here. This is basically the 1997 study called Restoration of Fluid Balance after exercise induced uh, dehydration effects of alcohol consumption it's in the journal of physiology uh, applied physiology and you could download this in the video link below in the dropbox link or download these all these notes and it's right here and also so the to conclude from this video basically uh, I've showed that thus increasing alcoholic beverage with four percent or more alcohol will make you pee more and should and it basically should partially be counted uh, towards your daily water intake. Yeah, and the reason I have partially because the study shows that basically you pee more, but it's not that much more to the point where it's basically as if you're taking water out of your body by drinking beer. And also the dilution of alcohol significantly lowers the diuretic effect and thus can be considered as part of water intake. So if there's really diluted like 2% alcohol, then it's, it's pretty much the same as... Uh, as being hydrated with water here, but again, there's calories in in, uh, in alcohol, and also drinking alcohol in beer when already dehydrated has little diuretic effect and can be considered as part of water intake. And also, this video, I just want to state that this is strictly based on hydration and does not take into account other aspects of alcohol, such as calories added in there and also the blood alcohol levels and effects on the liver and breaking down alcohol. This is strictly in terms of hydration and like I showed it's kinda like a gray area when you drink alcohol. You will pee more but it's not that much more and it depends if you're hydrated or not in the dilution of alcohol. So it's nothing like the statement which I showed here that, that a lot of people believe. I, I used to believe it too actually. That, that if you drink one cup of alcohol requires you drink one cup of water to counteract. So this, this I would say is a myth and I, I would I would not follow it well anyways so uh, if you learned from this video and um, so yeah uh, so if you enjoyed it, and also you could uh, make sure you could download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below for further reference and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution